Hey tubers, working on the uh, heat exchanger still. Got all the welding done that I'm going to do with them. I wanted, I really was hoping that I could get some welding done around the sheet metal that wraps these heat exchangers, but it's just too fragile. There's too much rust. What I'm going to do, uh, because they are so fragile, and I'm not a big advocate of uh, miracle fixes, but JD Weld, uh, Remember when I was a kid, they had this, uh, these uh, advertisements of how wonderful these, these kind of things were, but like uh, with crazy glue, they'd glue the dude's helmet and uh, he'd hold on to it and the crane would lift him up in the air. I don't take stock in stuff like that. I've heard of people fixing engine blocks and stuff like that with this. I'm, I just don't, rather not do it that way, I'll put it that way. I don't want to offend anybody who does it that way. So. My personal preference, uh, if, if I have a, a, um, a strip thread in a block, I'd much rather use a fix-a thread, a helical type thing, as opposed to fill it with this and drill it out and tap it and so on and so forth. But what I'm using this for is a kind of, I guess, the equivalent to a caulking. Uh, it does do a really good job for stuff like that. On the other heat exchanger, the one I showed you that, that had the big hole in it where I had to weld, what they had done, they had took uh, the little retainers off the CV axles and stuck them in that hole and then just put JB Weld around it. it. It did its job, I guess you say, but that's not the way I wanted to leave it. But I am going to use the JB Weld. I'm going to go around every bit of this with JB Weld to seal it. And the reason I want to do that is, is because when you put, when the fan's on, and you're blowing the air in here and back out of here, you're creating a vacuum around all of these ports. And I've had bugs, I remember a, a, a beetle I had when I was younger. When I kicked the heat on, I'd smell fumes. At that point in time, I didn't realize where the, the fumes were coming from, but it's the exhaust gases that are blowing out here, and it's just creating a vacuum, and you're pulling it all in here. So I don't want that. I, I, wanna, I want to smell fresh air, not, you know, exhaust fumes. So we're going to get on with that. I'm going to take care of it in uh, the next few clips here and uh, I'll show you how it turns out. Alright guys, I'm back here. I've got my, my JB Weld here and it's uh, two parts. They refer to the black as the steel and the white as the hardener. It's kind of like uh, any other. I refer to this as just an epoxy. I'm sure that's what it is. I've never researched it but uh, most of your epoxies out there that you buy will be in two parts like that. You mix the two parts evenly, uh, you get it all mixed up, and then it's going to start, um, it's activated at that point. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to get this mixed up, and then we're going to start filling around the, uh, the edges of this to get our uh, heat exchanger sealed up. So I'm going to try to do this, hold the camera at the same time. Stuff is very, very thick. You just want to keep mixing it. Okay. And after this is all even, I'm not going to sit here and uh, record the whole mixing process for you. Bore you to death. But after it's all uh, mixed properly, you're not going to see any color difference. It's not going to be it'll look all a smooth, smooth uh, gray. So I'm going to keep mixing this here. And after I'm done, we'll, we'll start the repair. Alright guys, here's, uh, here's what I did. I got it all mixed up and I just spread it around the joint there between the sheet metal and the, uh, the actual uh, exhaust manifold. So that should seal it up. I know it's not uh, the best repair in the world, but with, for the money that I have available to me and, and what I need to get done, it's going to work. Okay folks, uh, back to the repair on the uh, heat exchangers. Um, what I've done, well, let me preface this with this thought. The reason I'm showing you guys this is because some people get discouraged when they, when they think they don't have enough money to fix something or, or think that they, they can't afford a new set of heat exchangers. Even if they did still produce this heat exchanger, you know, if you did go to buy this, it, it would cost you several hundred dollars. So, uh, in order to kind of just show you how you can fix things with what you have, around and, and make it affordable I want to show you this little piece we've got this huge hole right here 
that I can't weld because the, 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 the it's so thin from all the years of the, the heat, the exhaust on this, and plus just the weather. You got water splashing around the underneath of your engine. So what I've done, I took a little piece of galvanized metal. Uh, let me show you what I cut it out of. I just cut a scrap, a little scrap piece off, okay? And I laid just the flat piece up here, okay? And I took chisel and, and a small hammer and I just tapped it and formed it into place. What I'm going to do with this is going to take this, uh, let me take it back out here, lay it up here. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my JB weld and put it all around here, okay? And then I'm going to put this piece in place. It's already formed, fitted, and so on and so forth. And then I'm just going to set it in the JB weld and then just put a coat around the edges. All right, tubers, we got one last huge hole to fill here, and this is going to be the uh, the end of the patching process. Uh, I do have, see, I've got a, stu a bolt broken off in here. I've got to have that. I got to, I've got to get this out. I'm going to try to first. I'm going to try to drill it and use an easy out. That doesn't work. I'll try something else. Sometimes they just, uh, especially where this is around all the uh, the heat and it rusts, it seizes bolts in there. I've got another one I've got to get out here. You can see it right here. That's what holds my pipe on, the riser. Okay, I gotta get that bolt out and get this bolt out. This bolt holds the alternator bracket. It's right here. That's where that's gonna bolt through. So I've gotta have that. I want good support on my, uh, on my alternator. It's an alternator adjusting arm is what it is. It goes up in there so anyway we'll take care of that all right guys we got the uh little patch done there so now we can uh let this set overnight and then we'll get the uh try to get the bolts extracted here i don't want to paint them until i get this done because it's going to be a mess i also need to get me a little bit of jb weld right here patch that hole so we'll catch you guys in another clip here